Well, you like this one. Yeah. Oh. This is from David Ligner. <laughs> Sam, I have a question for Lee. Mm -hmm. By the way, I really enjoy Lee's videos. He tells it straight and seems to have a lot of good old common sense. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> I notice that he wear, wears crosses sometimes, earrings, and around his neck. And I think he has a cross tattoo on his neck too. Mm, Is yeah, yeah, he actually, yeah. a Christian? No. No, I'm not. And <clears throat> if you follow my Instagram page, I just put up some memes, like atheist type memes, but I don't even know why I get called an atheist just because I don't believe in God, but all I've got since I put them up is abuse from Christians. You know, the people who are meant to be God-fearing or God-loving and non-judgmental. I never said nothing negative about Christianity just because I don't believe in God, but I like these memes. I post them because, after all, it is my page and I can post what I like. So I put them up and all of a sudden I get attacked. You're a cunt. I'm going to unfollow you. We hate you. You're going to hell and all this sort of stuff. So it's funny, a lot of Christian people, not all, but a lot of them are very judgmental. I'm not your fan anymore. I'll let me see you're my fan when you thought I was a Christian. Now I'm not a Christian. You're not my fan anymore. So to me, I don't care if someone's a Christian, Muslim, Catholic, whatever. If you want to believe whatever you want to believe in, that's fine. I don't come attacking you. So just because I put up a post saying maybe God doesn't exist or something, but you attack me, that's my opinion. It's my how I think, so I'm not attacking you, calling you names, anything like that, but all I've got is abuse, swearing, and stuff like that, so I think the Christian people need to calm down, and you can see how wars are started, can't you, over a simple little post like that, and people carry on about the Muslim faith, and all the people who are, some in the Muslims go around killing people, and this and that, well look, I just proved an example there, Christians, you are just as fucking crazy, if not crazier, I'll put up a meme and news go off, wishing me death, and calling me a cunt and I'm going to hell and this sort of shit just from a simple funny meme and the more upset you get the more I'll post it <laughs> so, you know, doesn't bother me if you don't like me unfollow me don't read it but you just look for stuff it's like you're trying to prove and bash a point home that you have to be Christian or you're going to hell it's like someone could live their life helping people from a young age help clothe people help feed them help them off the street, you know, just do chores around the house, help them in old people's homes, doing whatever. But yet, if they don't believe in God, they're not going to heaven. Yet someone can kill people, be a murderer, be an asshole their whole life, and on their last days on earth, ask for forgiveness and ask to be repented and all this sort of stuff, they go to heaven. They're the good person all their life doesn't just because they didn't believe in God. What a load of hogwash shit's that? And you'll find most young kids too who get to this religious stage of nuttiness is because their parents were going to church so they're forced to go to church at a young age and from that point on their religious beliefs are pushed on them how about you just teach your kids right from wrong teach them good and bad teach them how to be nice teach them morals teach them respect and then when they're teenagers young adults if they choose to go to church they choose to go of their free will as you people say well god doesn't cause death god doesn't do this that's man, and man's got free will to cause murder. Yes, he does. But what about the young kids that are born with cancer? That's not their free will. The young kids overseas and people starving in countries with no food or water. That's not their free will. People on a bus coming home from a church, the bus crashes and they all get killed. That's not free will. And they even went to church and believed in God, but yet they all got killed. So, you know what? You can keep your opinions to yourself. I'll post what I want on my page. If you don't like it, don't comment on it. It's quite simple. So. Like I said, you want to believe what you want to believe in, I'll believe what I want to believe in. And when the UFOs come to pick me up, I'll see you on the way past the pearly gates. Thank you. And you don't, um, like, hate Christians. You just I don't, don't hate anyone. I just don't believe you, in, like, the, you know, like I said, yes, there's been proof there was a guy named Jesus that's been proven and stuff like that. There's probably lots of people. I, I went to Mexico. There's lots of people called Jesus down there. So... <laughs> Which one's Jesus? I don't know, but they say it's Jesus. But over there, okay, there's a guy named Jesus. Did he walk on water? I don't think so. Did an ocean part and then it come in and kill everyone? I don't think so. Was there a boat and all these animals? Even the penguins walked all the way from Antarctica across the ice and across the desert and across the river to hop on this ark. And then when it was all over, hear that noise that someone tearing shit up there. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, so all these animals that said they went across the world it didn't happen. And then when the ark finally landed on a mountain, what, the kangaroos got off the ark and swam across the ocean and get back to Australia? There's so many stories in there, like Jonah and the whale. How did it live inside a whale for three days? No food, no air, underwater. See, it's just like I said, it's just it's a storybook that people want something to believe in. Yes, there's probably a guy named Jesus. But Jesus himself turned his back on the church if he didn't like church institutions or what he stood for. Jesus hung out with the poor people, the non-believers, the prostitutes, the people with leprosy and disease. So these people in there who say they're Christian, if you're on the street homeless or needle of feed, they'll step over you. They don't care about you. They're all in it for themselves. And come one day a week, they all go to church and ask for forgiveness. So then they've got a clean slate. They can start clean and be an asshole for the rest of the week. Simple as that. To me, it's like, believe in what you're believing. I believe what I believe in, but I don't go to church. Because if someone puts up a Christian post or a Jesus post, I don't go attacking them saying, oh, you're a fucking cunt for believing in God. I just look at it, then I move on. But yet I put up a post, and all of a sudden I'm the biggest asshole in the world. That's what I said. They're so judgmental. Yeah, it's just, if you've got to believe... Stop making a noise, yeah. or I'll send the wrath of God yeah. down upon you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just, just hold off the table for a sec. The wrath of God's going to get you. I'll tell you. Um, See, that put the um, fear of God in him. Yeah, so you... you <laughs> <laughs> it's not the... Um, um, you know, it's just people, if you believe what you want to believe, believe it, but just don't yeah, go okay, around... Keep it to yourself. Push. Don't Bible bash or don't push your beliefs on other people. And there are, like I said, fanatics. Like yeah. I said, in any religion, you have the fanatics who go too far. You have the extremist Muslims who want to kill and behead and bomb people. You have the Christians who just want to push it down your throat who are crazy. You have the Catholics who want to suck your cock and stuff like that. <laughs> boys, so, you know, everyone's got their weirdness in their religion, so, you know, yeah. they can keep it to themselves, so, whatever. But like I said, you see more wars in the world have started from religion. So many deaths in the name of religion, so it's meant to be a peaceful thing, isn't it? So if there is a God, which they say there is, I'm sure he's just sitting up there shaking his head at these people going, yes, they're all fucked up. So none of you are going to heaven, so fuck you all, I'll see you all in hell. <laughs> and don't you think it's bad that when you express an opinion... That... It's not even expressing an opinion, it's just a meme that I like. It's just <laughs> a funny meme, like the first one I put up were the Romans. There was Jesus on a cross like this, the cross was leaning back, the Romans are pulling him up on the ropes, and it says, this kite sucks, this is a <laughs> shit kite. It's like, that was a funny meme, I love it, you've got to see the funny side. Haven't people seen the life of Brian, that movie and stuff like that? There's so much shit happening in the world, if you can't laugh at stuff, it's like, do these religious people, what happens when they go to see a comedian live? Most comedians rip on religion, politics, everything, so what I do, get up and walk out, you know? I've stood out in storms and said, may lightning strike me, it hasn't struck me yet, so... <laughs> <laughs> so people just need to lighten up a bit and, you know, go and believe what you want to believe in, but I've had a few people unfollow me now from the post, which is good because I like to get rid of those crazies. Yeah. <laughs> They're the type of people you don't want following you, so whatever. As long as they're happy believing what they want to believe. But like I said, you'll find that most of them have been from a young age pushed in the church, so they believe it, you know. It's like, if you don't do this, you're going to hell if you did it. But like I said, most people I met, even in America, because over there, churches make millions and billions of dollars, and they don't pay tax on it. Where people are living on the street, you've got the Catholic Church in the Vatican, billions of dollars under the Vatican in gold and artwork, yet people are still sleeping homeless on the street and hungry. So you've got all these billions of dollars and you don't give them the fuck all back. So you keep putting your hand out, people give 10% of their wages to the church and these people that are the pastors in America live in million dollar mansions, drive Rolls Royces and shit like that. Come on, God really wants you to do that, does he? He wants you to live in a fucking $10 million house and drive a Rolls Royce while people are starving? Grow the fuck up.